Please remember that the complete information for the class that you are about to view is at elithecomputerguy.com. Not only do we have our videos there, but we have part lists, diagrams, pictures, and even complete code examples. So if you are watching this video and you want more information, please go to elithecomputerguy.com. Welcome back. As you know, I am Eli the Computer Guy, and in today's class, we're going to be discussing text transformation in PHP. So what we're talking about when we're talking about text transformation is basically uh, using functions in order to capitalize or lowercase uh, words that are in strings that you're going to be inputting into your PHP code. Uh, this may be used just from a graphical, a visual standpoint, making sure everything looks pretty, uh, but this can also be very important for how you're code actually functions. Um, I have seen this with some poorly uh, coded uh, user membership websites uh, where you'll run into a problem where you type in your, your user account and for some reason the system can't find your user account. And the reason is, is that when you initially created your user account you weren't thinking about it and you made the first letter in your username uppercase and everything else lowercase. Well if that's what you did when the PHP script goes through when you try to log in again it's going going to try to match what you're currently putting in with what you originally put in. And so if you originally put in uppercase, whatever the first letter is, everything else lowercase, and it doesn't match, then it will fail out because that user account doesn't exist. If for some reason you had cap locks on when you created your user account, and then you have cap locks off when you try to log back in, all lowercase username is not equal to all uppercase username. So one of the problems that you can run into is basically when you're inputting information into your database, uh, the capitalization of the information that you're putting into your database can run you into problems later when you then go and basically try to do searches or anything else uh, based off of that information because uppercase uh, strings are different than lowercase strings, so on and so forth. And so one of the things that you can do is before <laughs> before you input the string or that you input the username or whatever into the database is you can convert the entire string to all lowercase and then if it's all lowercase you input that into the database and then whenever you go to search the database you're looking for all lowercase you don't have to worry about the capitalization issues so this is one of those things when I talk about text transformation and I talk about uppercase and lowercase capitalization this is something a lot of people go ah I don't care about it I'm 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 a coder, I'm a programmer, I don't, I don't, I don't care how pretty my web application looks, uh, but this is something that can actually be very significant for the actual functioning of your web application. So today we're going to go through, we're going to take a look at a number of different functions that will elect, allow you to transform your text. So the big warning, warning for today when you're dealing with text transformation is test, 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 and when you're done, test a couple of more times. One of the things you do have to remember whenever you're using PHP functions is the PHP functions will modify your text in exactly the way uh, that they're supposed to. The thing is the results that you get out the other side may not be the results that you're expecting, and so sometimes you actually have to modify your text in multiple different ways. So I'm going to show you a, a few different examples of how you can transform your text. So I'm going to take the text all to lowercase. I'm going to text, take the text all to uppercase. I'm going to uh, have the first word in a string or the first letter in a string be capitalized. I'm going to have all the individual words, first letters be capitalized. But one of the things that you'll notice is when you have a string that's that kind of has weird capitalization in it, and then you assign these functions or you use these functions on that string, the results you get out of the string may not be what you're expecting. And so what you may have to do, and that's the final example that I'll show you, is you may have to actually transform your, your text, your string, uh, multiple times. So basically transform it one way to get all the text looking uh, the same, and then do a different transformation on that to get it looking pretty how you want it to look. So anyways, with that, let's go over, take a look at the, the demonstration that I set up, and then we'll take a look at the code. So here we are back at my demonstration machine. Uh, the demonstration machine really doesn't matter. I simply need a web browser that is able to connect to the web server that I've built uh, and is able to pull up the PHP script. So I have this PHP script simply called text transform. Uh, up here, this is the original string that I've created. So I've created a string where somebody did really something really stupid with the capitalization and 
This seems, this seems like melodramatic, but again, if you've ever actually had to deal with users in the real world, strings like this <laughs> pop up a surprising amount of the time. So if you're looking at this, um, again, one of the problems you run into is the, the capitalization issue just from, a, uh, from looking at it from a user experience perspective. If you try to read a string like this, it's just very hard on the eyes. Not only that, but if you try to go through, when you try to parse information out of the string, uh, you may have issues if you put that information then into a database and try to search off of it later. Um, so when you have a string like this where the capitalization is all over the board, this is probably going to be a problem for you. So if you're going to parse the string or you're going to print the string out on a page, uh, you may want to transform it a little bit. Uh, so the first thing that I've shown you how to do here is basically this is the string to lower function. So what the string to lower function does is it turns uh, all the words or all the characters in the string down to lowercase. Uh, so this is what I would recommend that you do uh, if you're dealing with usernames. Uh, so again, if you're creating some kind of user account system, when somebody creates a username, I would highly recommend you use the string to lower, uh, basically turn the username into all lowercase. Uh, and then whenever you try to match the username in the future, it will be a hell of a lot easier. So that's what we have here. Uh, then what we have here is string to upper, uh, basically uh, same as string to lower. The only difference is now you're going to make all of the, the text uh, uppercase uh, in this particular string. Then we're going to go down here, and this is going to be the UC first or uppercase first function. And so what this does is it simply makes the first letter in the string or the first character in the string uppercase. So you'll notice here, this is lowercase. And so basically all I'm doing is I'm making this uppercase here. So imagine if you're like printing out sentences. So if you're going to be printing out individual sentences. And so you just want to make the, the, the first uh, character in every sentence that you're printing out uh, to be uppercase. Uh, this is one of those things that you can do. Then we have down here, uh, we have the, uh, what is this called? The UC words. This is the uppercase words uh, function. And so what this does is it turns the first letter of each word uh, uppercase, right? So you see, hello, my name is Bob. And so we can see hello is uppercase, my is uppercase, name is uppercase, so on and so forth. But again, one of the things I really want you seeing out of this demonstration is this only modifies one way, right? So basically you're saying, okay, I want the first the first uh, letter of every word uppercase but the issue here is when I dorked with this right all of that remains the same so we still have this uh, OU is uppercase we still have this a is uppercase so that looks like a mess so that's why I have this uh, this final thing basically the final string at the bottom and this is where I transform this text multiple times so the first thing that I actually do here is I do the string to lower so what I do is I take this string I make all the characters in the string lowercase and then once I've made it all lowercase I then go through and use that uh, UC words so uppercase words to then turn the first character in every word to uppercase and that's where we get something that actually looks pretty so this kind of gives you an idea of how you can transform text and what happens when you're dealing with capitalization and all that. So let's go over and actually take a look at the code. So here we are on my server. Again, I am using Ubuntu 18.04 LTS and I'm using the desktop version. Uh, this will all run from the command line, uh, but I, I use the, the, the desktop version just so it's a little easier for you guys to be able to view what's going on. Uh, and then I'm using VS Code to actually write out this very simple script here. So I created a script called texttransform.php. Uh, and if we go through here, basically I'm just calling, uh, I'm calling these different functions and um, um, basically, I'm feeding it the string that I created. So, of course, we're going to open up with the PHP. Then we're going to create a, an awful string. So, string equals, hello, my name is Bob. You know, all the weird uppercase, the weird lowercase, uh, the whole nine yards. And again, when you're thinking about a string, this doesn't have to be a sentence. This can be a username. This can be any text, you know, um, product descriptions, product names, that type of thing, right? Anything can be a string, obviously. Uh, then the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm simply going to echo out the string. So I'm going to print what the string looks like on the page uh, so you can see how ugly it is. Um, then we're going to do the breaks. So we do break, break. So just so we give us a, a little bit of lines so we can see what's going on. Then we're going to do echo. So we do echo. And then when we do echo, we're going to do string to lower, str 
to lower uh, against the string. So basically what this is going to do is this is going to take the string and then it's going to feed it to the string to lower function and we're going to echo out the results. That's where if we go over and we take a look at the demonstration machine, that's where we get all this lowercase right here. Um, then we're going to go down, we're going to break break, we're going to do string to upper and basically going to feed it the exact same string. So the same string up here, we're going to echo out the results. And that is where we're going to get, you know, basically again here. Now everything is all going to be uppercase. Uh, then we're going to break break again, UC first. So basically, this is where the first character in the string uh, that will be turned to uppercase. So we're going to feed it the string. That's what we get. Then we go down to UC words. So basically uppercase words every word in the string the first character will be turned to uppercase and so again that's where we go over and we take a look here and that's where we can see here now hello is uppercase and my is uppercase and is is uppercase so on and so forth but one of the problems that you notice here is you still have these weird uppercases so you've turned lower cases into upper cases when you want it, but then you're still left with these weird uppercase issues here that you may not want. And so that's where the final example is we go down here and basically what we're going to do is we're going to make string equal and then we're going to feed the original string. So the original string is here. So basically we're going to feed the original string to the string to lower function. We are then going to make string equal that. So basically we feed the original version of string here. We do string to lower. And so that's going to make all the characters lowercase in the string. Then what we're going to do is we're going to echo out the new string that we've created, the new version of the string that we've created, and then uppercase words, UC words. And so then that's where we're able to get this because what happens, right? So this is how we get this because what happens is we take this string, we turn everything to lowercase, and then we do UC words to then make uh, the, the string actually look pretty. So these are some examples of what you can do uh, with text transformation. Again, this can be used for, again, just user experience, uh, or more importantly, especially when you're dealing with things like databases, uh, just simply turning all of your text to have the same capitalization scheme uh, can be very, very, very important. So there you go. Now you know a bit about text transformation in the PHP world. And the first reason you may think about doing text transformation again is from that user experience uh, thing, basically making your paragraphs and your sentences and all that look pretty. But what is far more important from a programmer standpoint is again, making sure all of your capitalization is the same when you start dealing with things like databases, right? So again, for, for user names, account information, if you're doing some kind of inventory control scheme, making sure all the names and everything uh, within the database have the same capitalization um, structure and that can be a very important thing because uh, remember you know uppercase P everything else lowercase for product is different than product all lowercase which is different than product all uppercase which is different than product most of it lowercase and then T uppercase for some stupid reason because that's what users really do at the end of the day right so basically being able to take text especially things like uh, usernames words, any, anything that you're going to be searching based off of, basically any type of information that you're actually going to be interacting with, with your PHP script, uh, doing queries, doing updates, doing things like that, that is something that you definitely should run through one of these text transformation uh, functions, again, to make everything lowercase or uppercase or however you want it, uh, so that when your script goes through, it's actually able to pull up what it's supposed to be able to pull up. Uh, you can run into some big problems with bad capitalization routines. Uh, the final thing uh, with this though, is do play, 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 play with this. Uh, when you deal with strings, when you deal with text, especially in the English language, um, we're really weird how we deal with things like capitalization, uh, things like iPhones now. So iPhone, maybe like lowercase i, uppercase p, Right, you can get some weird things when you're printing out information um, onto a page. And so one of the things that you should think about with your web application is test, test, test when you're using these text, uh, text transformation functions to verify that the results that you're getting out um, are the results you're expecting to get out. Uh, because again, capitalization, especially when people start plugging in sentences and bigger, larger amounts of information, um, 
this might be a very blunt tool for how to deal with capitalization within your particular project. Again, when you're dealing with something like a content management system or something along those lines. But anyways, that's basically just a little overview of how you can transform your text for your PHP web applications. As always, I enjoy doing this class. Look forward to seeing you at the next one. If you like the content that I create, please think about going to elinethecomputerguy.com and becoming a member or donating. Please understand that all the educational videos are in front of the paywall. That includes the videos, that includes the notes, the diagrams, and the code example. All of that is freely available and in front of the paywall. But if you want to watch opinion videos or if you want to be able to comment, you do need to become a member. Membership is $5 a month or $60 a year and gives you access to those opinion videos and the ability uh, to comment. If you don't want to become a member, you just want to give a one-time uh, donation, there is also a donate button where you can do that. Please understand, in order to provide the education that I am, it does cost money. Servers cost money, equipment costs money, travel costs money. All of these things cost a reasonable amount of money. And the fact of the matter is, is YouTube's advertising program no longer supports creators the way that it used to. So if you want to these classes to continue to stick around and you find them to be valuable, please think about either becoming a monthly member or donating a few dollars for this project.